Good morning children welcome to online class of mathematics today we will start a new chapter that is chapter 5 division in this we will cover the following sub topics division as equal sharing or distribution division as repeated subtraction multiplication and division facts and properties of division in class second we have learned that division is another name of equal sharing or distribution among a group or a process of repeated subtraction to explain division let's take an example suppose you are having six apples and you want to give them to your three friends equally so that all the three friends have equal number of apples so how will you distribute there are six apples and three friends if they share apples equally each friend will get two apples each six apples divided into three friends is equal to two apples each we can write it as six divided by three is equal to two or we can write it like this also here you can see three is divisor that is the number by which we divide 6 is dividend that is the number to be divided 0 is remainder the number obtained after subtraction and 2 is quotient the number obtained as answer we can read it as 6 divided by 3 is equal to 2 and the number sentence will be 6 symbol of division 3 is equal to 2 let's take one more example to explain division as equal sharing among a group suppose we have to divide 35 books equally to 7 children here we will divide 35 by 7 so when we divide or when we share equally each boy gets 5 books division as repeated subtraction we know that division is also known as repeated subtraction for example 35 divided by 7 is equal to 5 here we will subtract 7 repeatedly from 35 we will subtract 7 repeatedly from 35 till we get 0 first we will subtract 7 from 35 we get 28 now subtract 7 from 28 we get 21 subtracting 7 from 21 we get 14 now subtract 7 from 14 we get 7 and subtracting 7 from 7 we get 0 remember to keep subtracting till we get 0 let's now see how many sevens have been subtracted from 35 1 2 3 4 5 so we have subtracted 7 five times from 35 so the answer is 5 that means 35 divided by 7 is equal to 5 multiplication and division facts here you can see 4 into 3 is equal to 12 this is multiplication fact now look at another way divide 12 by 4 is equal to 3 or now divide 12 by 3 is equal to 4 one multiplication give two division facts this tells us that division is the inverse of multiplication that is when we divide product that is 12 with one of its factors that is 4 or 3 the quotient we get is the another factor that is 3 or 4 Let's take one more example to explain this. Suppose you want to write division facts of six into 
4 is equal to 24. So, division fact will be 24 divided by 6 is equal to 4 or 24 divided by 4 is equal to 6. Write multiplication fact of 56 divided by 8 is equal to 7. So, the multiplication fact will be 8 into 7 is equal to 56. Now, let's understand the properties of division. First property, a number except 0 is divided by itself exactly and the quotient is 1. It means if a number is divided by itself, the answer is always 1. 4 divided by 4 is equal to 1. Similarly, 5 divided by 5 is equal to 1. Second property, a number is divided by 1 exactly and the quotient is the number itself. It means if we divide any number by 1, the quotient is number itself. 4 divided by 1 is equal to 4. Similarly, 5 divided by 1 is equal to 5. Third property, we cannot divide any number by 0. That is, division of a number by 0 is not possible. We cannot divide any number by 0. We can see here that every time we subtract 0 from 4, the difference is 4. It is never ending process. That is, we cannot get remem remainder as 0. When, we, when 0 is subtracted from 4 any number of times. Hence, we can conclude that we cannot divide any number by 0. Fourth property, when 0 is divided by any number other than 0, the quotient is 0. That is, when 0 is divided by a number, the quotient is 0. 0 divided by 4 is equal to 0. Children, I hope you have understood the concept of division. Thank you so much. Thank you.